All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the official details for the upcoming LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta for part two of the worldwide celebration is officially here on the, you know, official Dokkan Twitter page. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, check it out together. I mean, first things first, the art you see on the screen, it's not the greatest in my opinion, I mean, maybe it's just the style, maybe, I don't know, there's something about this art that I don't love, and I feel like it's been a trend for the past couple of LRs we've had, you know, like, uh, Buhan and Vegeta looks great, but the LR Jiren and also the LR, uh, Blue Boys, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, both of those were, like, kind of meh to me, and this one is also just, like, kind of meh in my opinion i mean it's not bad it's not terrible but i think they could have done a better job with the card art that's just my personal opinion let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that now moving on to his other details um let's start with the leader skill it's worthy rivals key plus four hp attack and defense plus 150 percent or super fizz types key plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent so 150 percent for worthy rivals, just like the LR androids last year, who were 150% and key plus 4 for androids, right? And the uh, passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 4% each time key rises by 1, up to 70%. So, uh, essentially, after he gets, what, what would it be? Like a full 24 key super, he would have... 140 actually no it would be it would be calculated separately right so it's even higher than 140 percent i don't know what the actual final calculation would be but uh he's gonna be getting a lot of attack and defense that's for sure man i'm not sure the actual number but i can guarantee you he's gonna be hitting really 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 hard and also tanking really 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 well so uh yeah looking good so far and then key plus three when the name of an ally who is attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes goku youth captain ginyu jr etc excluded plus an additional key plus three when there is a majin buu saga category ally whose name includes goku attacking in the same turn okay so essentially if you have a majin buu saga goku attacking in the same turn which of course also includes the um lr vegeto from part one then you get up to key plus six which is you know that's a lot of key right for getting that 18 key super off and uh yeah getting a ton of attack and defense i mean i feel like his passive is honestly a little bit basic but uh the numbers are huge okay he's He's, he's gonna be quite insane, if not a little bit boring like I said, but uh, if you want big damage numbers and really high defense numbers, this guy's got you covered. And from there we have his active skill, which is called Vegeta and Kakarot, and uh, it can be activated when there is a Majin Buu Saga category ally whose name includes Goku, attacking in the same turn, starting from the third turn from start of battle once only, which is obviously very easy to fulfill as long as you, you know, purposely bring a Majin Buu Saga Goku and this active skill effect gives you key plus one and attack plus 59% and defense plus 78% for one turn that is huge that is an insanely unbelievably massive boost for Vegeta for that one turn um, obviously very similar to the tech LR Broly or the LR Blue Boys we mentioned um, earlier, right? So yeah, that's a pretty insane active skill that's also very easy to activate. And for his super attacks, the 12 key super raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Unfortunately, can't be stacked infinitely, but this guy's going to be getting so much defense from his passive that is, it doesn't really matter that much that he can't stack defense. And for his 18 key super, he's got the normal one, which is big bang attack, which causes mega colossal damage. And, uh, oh, hold on, let's go back to this page. Causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense. And his, uh, let's see. Also, yeah, he also has a unit super attack or a partner super attack, which uh, can be activated when key is 18 or more with a Majin Buu Saga 
category ally, whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn. And the effect is that it greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense. Okay, so that is all the details for this Vegeta right here. And honestly, he is gonna be amazing. He is really freaking busted. Um, like I said, man, the numbers are gonna be absolutely off the charts for damage and defense. But of course, you can really only, I mean, you can, you, you'll only really get the most out of him if you are running a Majibu Saga Goku. So for the most part, you'll probably want to run him with the LR Vegito or the Goku and Vegeta from part one of the celebration or the uh, Int LR Vegito will also work or any other Goku, you know, in Majibu Saga. But you have to specifically bring a Majin Buu Saga category Goku to uh, really, you know, make use of this card. But if you have that, if you have that condition fulfilled, then he's going to be, like I said, really freaking busted. Okay, so those are the details for the Vegeta. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that, what you guys think about him. But uh, from there, let's take a look at these animations. Now, I'll be honest, I have not watched them at all yet. Okay, usually for these videos before I start recording, you know, I take a look, at least, you know, kind of like skip through to see what the animation kind of, you know, looks like. But this time around, I literally started recording as soon as the details dropped. So I have not actually watched this animation or these animations. And uh, the reaction you get here from me, it's going to be 100% genuine. And I'm going to be watching it for the first time, basically. So let's check it out together. Here we go. Let me stop my own music and open this up. And let me just turn down the volume a little bit because that seems like uh that seems like it's gonna be really loud. So here we go, here we go, guys. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Let's get it. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Not bad so far. Hmm, okay. Damn, okay, um, so I'll be honest, when I first started watching this video, I wasn't like the most impressed by the first couple of animations, like I just feel like the quality compared to what we've seen, what we've seen recently was a little bit lacking, if I'm being honest, like this animation doesn't look the greatest to me, so I wasn't like that overly hyped, but then when I saw the active skill, okay, that active skill really got me, guys, because that's one of my favorite scenes from the entire series, and uh, you know that monologue like brought me back. So I really like that, and then the animation with uh, the unit super attack with Goku and Vegeta was also really, really good, really well done. So I like that, but his first couple animations. Honestly, we're just kind of okay. They were kind of meh. Uh, overall, I'd say this guy has solid, solid animations, but uh, nothing that blew me away. Nothing, you know, too crazy. But that being said, you know, still very good. I'm still, I'm sure still a lot of people are still gonna enjoy, enjoy them. And uh, I guess that's all that, oh, that's all that really matters, right? And as far as performance goes, like I said, man, this guy is gonna be ridiculous he's gonna be nuts so i'm excited to actually test him out for myself and uh you know hopefully pull him when his banner drops but there you go guys that's pretty much all we got from the official doka on twitter page i believe let me just quickly refresh the page to make sure that we don't miss anything 
Uh, no, that's it. We got the Vegeta uh, details. We got the Vegeta animations. And we also got the uh, little release here telling us that the Baba Shop has the medals for um, Extreme Z Awakening, the Hercule. By the way, you can only buy three per day. They cost three million zenny each. And you have to, I think, get 45 in total, I believe. I think it's 45. So 15 days, essentially, of buying medals. Um, so that's that's a thing and that's it guys that is today's video the official reveal for uh vegeta is here and as far as when we can expect the banner uh it's most likely going to be dropping in i want to say like 20 hours or so so like right now it's 4 15 a.m eastern time we're most likely going to see the banner at like 1 a.m. Eastern time on the 16th or 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 15th. That's what I think the time is. I can't be sure. We'll know for sure once the data download drops. So maybe just wait until then to, you know, confirm it. But uh, I, I think it's going to be soon, but like not within the next few hours, like some people seem to think. Anyways. That is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the animations with me. Hope you guys enjoyed going over the details. And uh, once again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all this stuff, the quality of the animations, what you guys think about the details of the card, and uh, overall, how, how hyped are you for this unit now after seeing all this stuff, okay? But that's it, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like, the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out